Coach, another dominating effort here at home, another shutout, now five in five games. Uh, can you talk a little bit about just the defensive effort before we even get to the offense? Well, it was a great defensive effort. If you look at the stats, one shot on goal and I by a very good team. It's had some good results. So it's not just our back line or our goalkeeping, though they are fantastic, and I've said that all year, but it's our defense that starts up front across the board. To allow them to have one shot on goal is pretty impressive. And, uh, you know, we'll take it one game, one game at a time here. For the second game in a row, you had a couple uh, of, of newcomers get their, their first goals at Makamai and uh, Bree both scoring tonight. What do you think it's been that, that's gotten the offense going for the team, especially the freshmen? Well, as you, every day we're growing as a group, you know, practice and training and, and, and the game. So at, at some point you hope your freshmen, you know, grasp that and take a hold of this. And they're getting great development from our leaders up top and uh, our midfielders and our forwards and our captains. So. Uh, you know, again, they're, they're putting the right spot at the right time. They're finishing, but some of these passes that these uh, other ones are putting around the ball is making their job easier. So uh, we want to continue that right now. So, Mock, you scored your first collegiate goal tonight. You've been knocking on the door for a while. How did it feel to, to get that under your belt? It was pretty special to be able to score my first collegiate goal. Um, it was kind of like the right place at the right time. I stole the ball, and I looked up, and I just shot it, and it went in. So it's pretty cool. How does it feel to get another win, another shutout, and it was against a, a really good Northridge team? So we came into the game with the understanding that they were really um, aggressive and good team. They tied Colorado, so we were kind of, again, under the impression that they were going to be very good. So for us to dominate a good team like them, it was pretty special. Um, and we have another win on their belt, so that's, that's good. This was your only game of the weekend. You hit the road. Uh, for two games next weekend. How do you parlay the success you've been having at home into those true road games? Well, as I said, we, you know, we, we got a business to take care of here. We got two very good teams coming up in Utah Valley and in Montana, two teams that are, will cause some issues for us, and we got to be ready to go, and we will be. And uh, one game at a time, it's all about Utah Valley now. Girls can celebrate this win to midnight tonight. It's back to work in the morning.